Uh, I am Brigadier Rakesh Gupta. I am the Director of Government Institute of Medical Sciences, uh, Greater Noida, which is an autonomous institute of government of Uttar Pradesh. Government Institute of Medical Sciences, uh, commonly known as GIMS, Greater Noida. It is located in the western Uttar Pradesh, founded in 2012, but actually started functioning from 2016. And last six years of our inception, we have uh, started patient care where we have more than 1500 patients are coming every day, more than 300 are admitted. We are doing uh, advanced patient care in terms of uh, joint replacement, laparoscopic surgery and intensive care uh, management of all the patients. Uh, we have started MBBS classes. We also started post graduation, only institute we started uh, PG with uh, undergraduates. Uh, we also started uh, College of Nursing and Paramedical School. We are also doing extensive work in the field of research. We have more than 130 research projects undergoing of which 15 projects are extramural funded by ICMR, IGIB, CSIR and Ministry of Health. Uh, we have been awarded the multidisciplinary research unit by ICMR, VRDL by Department of Health Research and State Tuberculosis Lab. So our vision is uh, excellence in patient care, medical education and biomedical research. So we are trying to excel in all three fields as much as possible. Besides uh, COVID care, uh, we have analyzed the need of local population where we find uh, one diabetes. In the diabetes, we have established center of excellence for type 1 diabetes, which is the first of its kind in the western Uttar Pradesh. Uh, we have uh, invested in e Sanjeevni and Jibs Greater Noida was the uh, institute with maximum e Sanjeevni uh, consultations. And the third, we invested on the dialysis where we have started from five dialysis units to 15 dialysis and we are trying to reduce cost uh, to 1200 rupees per dialysis. And the fourth is Aishman Bharat. Uh, we had a 300% rise from uh, 600 patients. We have gone up to over 2000 patients. Uh, in a year. So, these are the pillars of strength where we are trying to do as much as possible. The gyms, uh, as I said, is uh, just six years old and uh, in a short span of time, we are trying to excel in patient care, medical education and biomedical research. In the patient care, during COVID, though we are a new medical college, we took COVID as head on. We started with 10 bedded isolation ward and with the need of R in second wave, we have expanded to almost 500 bed. We have managed uh, more than 5000 patients of COVID with a minimum case fatality. We have complete uh, patient care right from screening till diagnosis, uh, isolation care intensive care and plasma therapy and our two years of COVID care. See, there is always a resource crunch in terms of uh, in the government institutions, but we are trying to fill this gap. Uh, we are trying to improve the services. We are using a lot of PPP model where we have established our uh, uh, radiology department, our CT scan, MRI on PPP model. Uh, we have also established uh, dialysis on the PPP model, where we are trying to provide maximum benefit to the patients. As an institute, our mandate to serve the most poor and the <coughs> patients in the community. So this we are actually doing on the PPP and any patient who comes to us that he cannot afford, he is poor, we simply wave of the charges. So we are trying to 
get uh, money from patient investing on them and this is what is our trying to model to make the institute, government institute as self-sustainable as possible and uh, we are getting lot of um, success in this. Yes, definitely PPP is the way forward. Uh, this actually we have seen in last uh, <coughs> uh, two years of COVID and subsequently most of the services what we have seen in like CT, hai, MRI or dialysis. I think PP is more is a solution but it should be done very very judiciously while selecting the vendor while providing the services uh, that uh, genuine people should come and uh, provide it services to the needy patients and I think uh, this is a win-win situation for patients maximum and of course for the institute also. So PPP I think is the answer. Our institute success, we owe our success to our uh, many well-wishers and uh, during second wave uh, we have more than 10 crores of uh, CSR activity, we have expanded our bed strength from uh, 200 to 500 with the help of CSR activity from various uh, uh, our industry friends and various uh, NGOs and uh, I want to particularly mention the WISH Foundation who during the second wave actually uh, volunteered to help gyms in improving the patient care especially the pediatric ICU uh, during second wave. Uh, Wish Foundation actually established 10 bedded uh, PICU which was actually the need of our at that time where we had a maximum uh, patients of uh, COVID who require actually ICU care. So they donated us uh, ICU beds, ventilators, BiPAP machine, monitor and other equipments required to establish the pediatric ICU. So I wanted to thank the Wish Foundation and uh, Mr. Rajesh Ranjanji and Dr. Suyog for uh, their noble, uh, I should say, gesture and uh, helping gyms uh, through uh, Microsoft Foundation and uh, Mrs. Manju, uh, who actually helped us during the second wave of COVID in establishing our uh, pediatric intensive care. And I think this will go long way not only during COVID, but subsequently also in improving the patient care of the needy patients. We have started this, we actually are, uh, I should say, proud of. Okay, we started MBBS course in uh, 2019 and that is the time we uh, realize that we need to have, you know, uh, some human resource between faculty and uh, UG students. So then immediately we decided to start um, postgraduate courses. So, in 2020, we started uh, DNB program in all clinical specialties, where we have a dedicated uh, MBBS pass student who actually were involved in the patient care. So, this is uh, the thing which we did in 2020. Then in second wave of uh, COVID, we realized even paramedicals are also equally important human resources. And during Second wave, you know, uh, out of 200 nurses, we have got, you know, one fourth of them actually, they were actually, you know, became positive. Uh, one fourth of them actually going in the rotation. So, there is huge uh, uh, crunch we faced uh, during second wave. So, that is the time we thought of starting our own uh, paramedicals and uh, nurses. So, 2021 we started College of Nursing, BSc Nursing course and uh, paramedical school and this actually helped and within a span of 2-3 uh, years we will double our uh, nursing and paramedical without much investment and we can definitely improve the patient care. And this same model is now being uh, replicated by other medical colleges of uh, Uttar Pradesh. After around 100 MBBS students, we have 14 seats of uh, PG, uh, we have got a 60 uh, College of Nursing, BSc Nursing and 60 paramedicals.